The security parliament now and two legislators accused of bribing their colleagues to oppose the sugar probe report have denied the allegations, while Wajir, woman MP for Tumagedi, claims she has personal issues with some of the MPs who accused her of bribery. Her Kuresoi South counterpart, Joseph Tanui, argued that he has never engaged with any of his accusers. Fourteen members of parliament have already appeared before the Powers and Privileges Committee to testify. And affirm that the evidence that I shall share. Kiambu Women Rep Gadoni Wamosomba was the first witness to take the witness stand before the Powers and Privileges Committee. She was here to shed light on allegations that MPs were bribing their colleagues to shoot down the report on the sugar probe. The members who are going in were coming out very excited. Very excited. And I could hear people call out names and say, Where are you being left? Please get inside there and say hi. A statement that was also supported by Lugari MP Ayub Savula. When one witness appeared, a Mr. Rai, they were rushing all over to shake his hand. That is an avenue of breeding corruption. And I stand by it, Mr. Speaker. We need to investigate further this matter. And from the witness box, she dropped the name of Fajir women rep Fatuma Gedi. So I could hear the transaction from people inside the toilet talking about how they've been given money by one honorable called honorable Fatuma Gedi. I cannot and did not bribe a member. And I don't know where was I getting that kind of money to bribe 349 members honestly. For me it was a shock. I did not see members receiving money in toilets, but I heard them talk about how much they have received while they were in toilets. Honorable Mushomba and I uh, contested for the caucus chair. She vied against me and uh, I won the elections. Kurisoi South MP Joseph Tanui, who was also accused of bribing members, also distanced himself from the allegations. Now, given that Parliament has no prosecutorial powers, the Powers and Privileges Committee will have to share their report with the relevant state agencies for action to be taken against those who will have been found culpable. Chris Dairo, KTN News.